started, the lights will be Good morning and welcome to the 2019 Phil Swing Spelling Bee. We want to congratulate all of the Spelling Bee participants. And with that, let's begin. Participant number one. This word has a homonym. The word is sick. It is an adjective. It means not well or in good health. John is too sick to go to school and will have to make up his homework. Sick. Sick. S-I-C-K. Sick. Yes, that is correct. The word is code. This word has a near homonym. It is a noun. It means a set of instructions for a computer program. When the program wouldn't run correctly, Lisa checked the code and made a few tweaks. Code. Code. E-L-D-E. -E. Code. Yes, that is correct. Your word is air. This word has a homonym. It is a noun. It means a mixture of invisible gases that surrounds us in the earth and that we can feel. Winnie enjoyed hiking in the crisp fall air. 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 A I R. That is correct. This word has a homonym. The word is gills. It is a plural noun. It means organs used to get oxygen from water. The Australian lungfish can use either its lungs or its gills to breathe. Gills. Gills. G-I-L-L-S. Gills. That is correct. This word has a homonym. The word is rain. It is a noun. It means water that falls and drops from clouds in the sky. Boss curled up on the sofa with a good book and listened to the rain pouring outside. Rain. Rain. R-A-I-N. Rain. That is correct. This word has a near homonym. The word is yard. It is a noun. It means the usually grassy land surrounding a house. One of Dustin's least favorite chores is mowing the front yard. 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 Y A R D. Yard. That is correct. The word is salt. It is a noun. It means a white crystal-like substance that is used especially to season or preserve food. Lynn sprinkled a little more salt on his french fries. Salt. Salt. S-A-L-T. Salt. That is correct. This word has a homonym. The word is mind. It is a verb. It means to object to or dislike. Priya didn't mind cleaning up and doing the dishes after dinner. Mind. Mind. M-I-N-D. Mind. That is correct. This word has a near homonym. The word is game. It is a noun. It means a physical or mental competition that has rules and which players try to win. Ron enjoyed watching sports, but his favorite game is chess. Game. G-A-M-E. That is correct.
This word has a homonym. The word is pool. It is a noun. It means a container usually made of concrete or plastic that is made for swimming. On hot summer days, Durant loves floating in her pool. Pool. P-O-O-L. That is correct. This word has a near homonym. The word is jaws. It is a plural noun. It means the bones, muscles, nerves, and other parts that make up the walls of the mouth and that open and close it. Once Sean Bulldog has her jaws around a ball, it's hard to get her to let go of it. Jaws. Uh, jaws. G-A-W-S. Jaws. No, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. Because you said the S. That's why I'm like. Jaws. That was, I did say the S. That was correct. Oh, okay. But it begins with a J. But thank you so much for trying. Oh, I thought it did you. The word is happy. It is an adjective. It means having a feeling of well-being. Juliet always feels tired, but happy after a long day volunteering. Happy. H-A-P-P-Y. That is correct. This word has a homonym. The word is city. It is a noun. It means a large or important place where a lot of people live. New York is the largest U.S. city by population. City. City. C-I-T-Y. That is correct. The word is even. It is an adjective. It means being any number that can be exactly divided by two. 12 is Gordy's favorite even number, while 5 is his favorite odd number. Even. Even. E-V-E-N. Even. That is correct. The word is Lima. It is a noun. It is a type of large, flat, green, or whitish bean that can be eaten. When Eunice tried to stab a lima with her fork, she accidentally shot it across the room. Lima. Lima. L-I-M-A. Lima. That's correct. The word is spin. It is a verb. It means to turn around or whirl rapidly. Tanya and Tara waited to see whose top would spin the longest. Spin. Spin. S-P-I-N. Spin. That is correct. The word is badly. It is an adverb. It means very much. Bernadette's mom told her that if she wanted the video game so badly, she would have to save up for it and buy it herself. Badly. Badly. B-A-D-L-Y. Badly. That is correct. This word has a near homonym. The word is robe. It is a noun. It means a loose piece of clothing that wraps around you and is usually worn at home. Jordan put a robe on her over her pajamas and answered the door. Robe. R O B E. Robe. That is correct. This word has a homonym. The word is brand. It is a noun. A class of things identified as being made by one company. 
Jocelyn loved the shirt so much that she looked for others by the same brand. Brand. B-R-A-N-D. That is correct. The word is shy. It is an adjective. It means easily frightened or scared. The shy puppy hid whenever he heard a loud noise. Shy. Shy. S-H-Y. Shy. That is correct. The word is tabby. It is a noun. It means a cat with gray or brownish orange fur that is striped and spotted with black. Bonnie laughed as she watched the small gray tabby chase the fly around the house. Tabby. Tabby. T A B Y. Tabby. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. There's two B's. The word is crisp. It is an adjective. It means easily broken, cracked, or snapped. Flo hurried to finish eating the nachos while they were still crisp. Crisp. E-R-I-S-P. Crisp. That is correct. This word has a homonym. The word is wool. It is a noun. It means the soft, wavy, or curly hair of some animal, like sheep. The farmer carefully sheared the wool off the sheep. Wool. Wool. W-O-O-L. Wool. That is correct. This word has a homonym. The word is mean. It is an adjective. It means unkind. Harry's mom told him it was mean to steal his sister's toys. Mean. Mean. M-E-A-N. Mean. That is correct. The word is after. It is a preposition. It means behind in place or time. The reception will take place at the hotel after the ceremony. After. After. A F T E R. After. That is correct. Yay. This word has a near homonym. The word is holding. It is a verb. It means having or keeping something in your hands or arms. Omar happily showed Tina the teddy bear he was holding. 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 H-O-L-D-I-N-G. Holding. That is correct. And now we are in round two. This word has a homonym. The word is yawn. It is a verb. It means to take a deep breath with your mouth wide open, usually because you're bored or tired. Once Bertram began to yawn, Stacy started to yawn too. Yawn. Yawn. Y-A-W-N. Yawn. That is correct. This word has a homonym. The word is grade. It is a noun. It means one of the levels of study at a school that is completed by a student in one year. When Andrea grows up, she wants to be a third grade teacher. Grade. Grade. G-R-A-D-E. That is correct. This word has a near homonym. The word is face. It is a noun. It means the front part of your head that has a chin, mouth, nose, cheeks, and eyes. After lunch, Graham had peanut butter smeared all over his face. Face. F A C E. That is correct. This word has a 
a near homonym. The word is litter. It is a noun. It means trash or garbage lying scattered about. Mari was horrified at the amount of litter on the beach. Litter. Litter. L-I-T-T-E-R. Litter. That's correct. The word is paper. It is a noun. It means a thin sheet of fibers used in many ways, including as a surface for writing. Danny used a fancy teal paper to make her birthday party invitations. Paper. Paper. P-A-P-E-R. Paper. That is correct. The word is soggy. It's an adjective. It means heavy with moisture or water, soaked. Joey's boots were soggy from jumping in puddles. Soggy. Soggy. S-O-G-G-Y. That is correct. The word is oink. It is a noun. It is the sound a pig makes. The piglet let out an indignant oink when Winston picked him up. Oink. Oink. O-I-K. No, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. It is okay. The word is street. <coughs> it is a noun. It means the part of a public road that cars and other vehicles drive on. Shannon always looks both ways before crossing the street. 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 S-T-R-E-E-T. -E -E street. That is correct. This word has a near homonym. The word is tiptoe. It is a verb. It means to walk quietly or cautiously on only the front ends of your feet. Trying not to wake the baby, Larry began to tiptoe quietly down the stairs. Tiptoe. Tiptoe. T-I-P-T-O-E. Tiptoe. That is correct. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is finch. It is a noun. It is a small to medium-sized bird with a short, cone-shaped beak used to crush seeds. Gloria Spotter spotted a yellow-colored finch eating sunflower seeds at her feeder. Finch. Finch. F-I-N-C-H. That is correct. The word is mercy. It is a noun. It means the removal or lessening of pain, suffering, or trouble. Whenever anyone eats Nina's super spicy chili, she offers them mercy in the form of a glass of milk. Mercy. No, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. This word has a near homonym. The word is pillows. It is a plural noun and means bags usually made of cloth and filled with soft material. The princess could fill the pea even under several layers of blankets, mattresses, and pillows. Pillows. P I L L O W S. That is correct. Oh my gosh.
This word has a near homonym. The word is alarm. It is a noun. It means a thing that warns or signals by using noises, lights, or other effects. The robbery failed when the thieves tripped the alarm at the vault. Alarm. Alarm. A L A R M. Alarm. That is correct. The word is pizza. It's a noun. It means a thin, usually round layer of bread dough covered in toppings, such as tomato sauce and cheese, and baked. No matter what anyone said, Clyde liked pineapple on his pizza. Pizza. P-I-Z-Z-A. That is correct. This word has a near homonym. The word is view. It is a noun. It means what you can see from a place. Molly sat on her balcony and took in the beautiful ocean view. View. V-I-E-W. View. That is correct. This word has a near homonym. The word is loaf. It is a noun. It means a shaped or molded lump of bread. Nadia sliced up a loaf of stale bread to make croutons. Loaf. Loaf. L-O-A-F. Loaf. That is correct. This word has a homonym. The word is forest. It is a noun. It means a large area of land covered with lots of trees, shrubs, and bushes. Krista and Aziz hiked through the forest to a waterfall. Forest. F-O-R-R-E-S-T. No, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. The word is relax. It is a verb. It means to rest. Andre put on his favorite podcast, lay back on the sofa, closed his eyes, and began to relax. Relax. R-E-L-A-X. Relax. That is correct. The word is shiny. It is an adjective. It means bright, glittering, or polished. Deanna shielded her eyes from the light glinting off the shiny metal of the car. Shiny. Shiny. S-H-I-N-Y. That is correct. The word is type. It is a verb. It means to write using a keyboard. The author preferred to handwrite his stories and then type up the manuscript. Type. Type. T-Y-P-E. Type. That is correct. This word has a homonym. The word is disco. It is a noun. It means a type of popular dance music with strong, steady rhythms and usually electronically produced sounds. Toby danced around her living room to a mostly disco playlist. Disco. D-I-S-C-O. That is correct. This word has a homonym. The word is wary. It is an adjective. It means cautious and on the lookout for danger. Liam immediately becomes wary whenever his sister is nice to him because that usually means she wants something. Wary. Wary. A W A R Y. That is correct. The 
word is latch. It is a verb. It means to secure something against opening by using a device for holding it closed. Larry tried to quietly latch the door to the baby's room before tiptoeing down the hall. Latch. Latch. L-A-T-C-H. That is correct. This word has a near homonym. The word is floss. It is a noun. It means a slow-moving brownish or grayish mammal with very long front legs and long curved claws that hangs from branches and eats leaves and fruit. Green algae grows on the fur of the sloth, helping it to blend in with the trees. Sloth. Sloth. S-L-O-T-H. Sloth. That is correct. We are now in round three. This word has a near homonym. The word is pudding. It is a noun. It means a sweet, creamy dessert that is soft, spongy, and thick. Homer served chocolate pudding with cookie crumbs for dessert. Pudding. Pudding. P-U-D-D-I-N-G pudding. That is correct. This word has a homonym. The word is hours. It is a plural noun. It means periods of time lasting 60 minutes. It took several hours for Elliot to finish his research project. Hours. Hours. H-O-U-R. That is correct. This word has a near homonym. The word is maple. It is a noun. It means a tree with gray bark, section leaves, hard wood, and sap used to make syrup. Fitz drilled a hole in the maple and placed a spout and bucket to collect the sap. Maple. Maple. M-A-Y-P-O-O. No, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. This word has a near homonym. The word is plaster. It is a noun. It means a mix of usually sand, water, and other materials that is used to coat inside walls and ceilings. Tom added more plaster to help cover the hole in the wall. Plaster. Plaster. P-L-A-S-T-E-R. Plaster. That is correct. The word is quest. It is a noun. It is a journey to go in search of something. Allie is on an epic three-day quest for the perfect pair of sneakers. Quest. Quest. Q-U-E-S-T. Quest. That is correct. This word has a near homonym. The word is invent. It is a verb. It means to think of or imagine. Zari liked to invent stories to tell her younger siblings. Invent. Invent. I-N-V-E-N-T. Invent. That is correct. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is splinter. It is a noun. It means a thin, sharp piece of something, like wood, that is broken off from a bigger piece. Bella got a splinter in her foot from walking barefoot on the wooden deck. Splinter. Splinter. S-P-L-I-N-T-E-R. Splinter. That is correct. This 
This word has a homonym. The word is royal. It is an adjective. It means related to or owned by the family of a king or queen. The royal corgis had their own room and slept in elevated wicker baskets. Royal. Royal. R A Y A L. No, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The word is whenever. It is an adverb. It means at any time. Mrs. Barbara told her students she was happy to meet with them whenever to discuss assignments. Whenever. Whenever. W E N E V E R. No, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is bacon. It is a noun. It means meat from the sides of a pig that has been salted and smoked. Russell sprinkled some bacon and cheese on his omelet. Bacon. Bacon. B A C O N. That is correct. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is wrong. It is an adjective. It means not true, correct, or right. Students lost points for every wrong answer they gave on the test. Wrong. Wrong. W-R-O-N-G. Wrong. That is correct. This word has a near homonym. The word is tangled. It is an adjective. It means knotted or twisted together. It took Keisha a few minutes to undo the tangled chain of her necklace. Tangled. T A N G L I E. No, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. This word has a homonym. The word is otters. It is a plural noun. It means dark brown aquatic fish-eating mammals with long tails, short legs, webbed feet, and small ears. Sienna loves watching the baby otters frolic and play. Otters. Otters. O-T-T-E-R-S. Otters. That is correct. This word has a near homonym. The word is gremlin. It is a noun. It means a small, mischievous gnome that is imagined to cause errors or problems with equipment. When the machine broke down for the fifth time, Joey joked that they must have a gremlin at the warehouse. Gremlin. Gremlin. G R B M L I N. Gremlin. That is correct. The word is Fiji. It is a geographical entry. It means an island country in the southwestern Pacific. Fiji is made up of more than 330 islands with a total land area of less than that of New Jersey. Fiji. Fiji. F-I-J-I. -I, Fiji. That is correct. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is artistic. It is an adjective. It means characterized by taste and judgment or by art and skill. Janelle created an artistic prom dress out of duct tape that impressed her friends and family. Artistic. Artistic. A-R-T-I-S-T-I-C. Artistic. That 
That is correct. This word has a homonym. The word is drone. It is a noun. It means a deep, sudden, unintentional sound that usually indicates pain, grief, or sometimes disapproval or annoyance. Xander let out a loud groan as he heaved the grocery bags into the cart. Groan. Groan. G R O A N. Groan. That is correct. <clears throat> this word has a homonym. The word is siren. It is a noun. It means an apparatus often electrically operated for producing a piercing warning sound of musical tones. The warning sound of the fire truck siren changed as the vehicle approached the intersection. Siren. S I and S-I-N-R-A-N? No, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. The word is shavings. It is a plural noun. It means thin strips of wood paired off by a tool for something or shaping wood, for smoothing or shaping wood. After finishing his carving, Donnie swept up the shavings on the floor. Shavings. Shavings. S-H-A-V-I-N-G-S. Shavings. That is correct. The word is tireless. It is an adjective. It means seemingly not able to become weary or have your strength decrease or fail. Mom praised Adam for his tireless efforts to clean the house. Tireless. No, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The word is clumsy. It is an adjective. It means not having ease in using the hands, skill, nimbleness, or grace, such as in the use of the body or limbs or in the performance of an action. Brianna's clumsy attempt to pick the lock on her sister's diary left scratches all around the keyhole. Clumsy. Clumsy. C-L-U-M-S-Y. Clumsy? That is correct. <coughs> this is now round four. The word is factory. It is a noun. It means a building or collection of buildings with facilities such as machines, for making goods often from raw materials. Mary Beth works in a factory that specializes in the manufacture of auto parts. Factory. Factory. F-A-C-T-O-R-Y. Factory. That is correct. This word has a near homonym. The word is poodles. It is a plural noun. It means dogs of an old European breed of active, intelligent dogs that have a curly, dense, solid-colored coat and are grouped into standard, miniature, and toy sizes. Poodles are a good choice of pet for people with allergies because they do not shed like most other dog breeds. Poodles. Poodles. P-O-O-D-L-E-S. That is correct. The word is inspire. It is a verb. It means to encourage or motivate. 
William hopes to inspire his children to be avid readers by taking them to the library and reading to them. Inspire. Inspire. I N S P I R E. That is correct. This word has a near homonym. The word is boasted. It is a verb. It means said or told something intended to give others a high opinion of yourself. Brag. Monique boasted of her ability to complete all her homework in five minutes flat. Boasted. Boasted. B-O-A-S-T-E-D. That is correct. The word is abnormal. It is an adjective. It means differing from the typical. Nalini's argument that it was considered abnormal to live without a smart smartphone in this day and age did little to convince her parents to buy her one. Abnormal. Can you say the word again, please? Abnormal. Abnormal. A B N O R. Wait. A B N O R M A L. That is correct. This word has a near homonym. The word is gravity. It is a noun. It means the tendency or state of being drawn to the mass of something in the sky, such as the earth, the moon, or a planet, for bodies at or near its surface. Gavin had to work hard to fight gravity to slurp his thick milkshake through a straw. Gravity. Gravity. G-R-A-V-I-T-Y. Gravity. That is correct. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is borrowed. It is a verb. It means received something, such as a book, from a library to use outside the library for a period of time. Yash borrowed a book about snails from the library so he could finish his science project. Borrowed. Borrowed. B. O. R. R. O W E D. That is correct. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is pleat. It is a plural noun. It means folds and cloth made by doubling material over on itself and that is stitched, attached, or held along one side. Judy picked a skirt with pleats and paired it with a ruffled blouse. Pleats. Pleats. P-L-E-A-T. S. That is correct. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is scratched. It is a verb. It means scraped or rubbed lightly with something pointed or rough in order to relieve itching. Dennis repeatedly scratched at his bug bite, only to discover that he was making the itch worse. Scratched. Scratched. S-C-R-A- T-C-H- E-D. That is correct. <clears throat> this word has a near homonym. <clears throat> the word is ghost. It is a noun. It means a supernatural appearance, apparition. Amanda was sure she had seen a ghost hiding in the bushes. But it was only the neighbor's grouchy cat. Ghost. Ghost. 
G H O S T. Ghost. That is correct. <clears throat> the word is distorted. It is a verb. It means twisted out of a natural, normal, or original shape or condition. Clara's recent wreck distorted her bicycle frame nearly beyond recognition. Distorted. Distorted. D-I-S-T-O-R-T-E-D. -E that is correct. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is mission. It is a noun. It means a specific task with which a person or group is charged. Miguel sent his little sister on a mission to raid the fridge and grab some snacks. Mission. Mission. M-A-S-I-O-N. Mission. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is shriek. It is a noun. It means a shrill, usually wild, or unintentional cry, as of sudden or extreme terror or pain or a violent laughter. Bertie let out a shriek when his sister startled him by jumping out from behind the door. Shriek. Shriek. S-H-R-I-K. That is correct. The word is majestic. It is an adjective. It means having, exhibiting, or marked by magnificent or commanding power, effect, or appearance. Regal. Graciela was speechless at the majestic sight of Victoria Falls. Majestic. Majestic. M A J E S T I C. Majestic. That is correct. The word is universe. It is a noun. It means the entire celestial cosmos. Many scientists feel that the universe is expanding more rapidly than they originally expected. Universe. Universe. U-N-I-V-E-R-S-E. -E. Universe. That is correct. Round five. <clears throat> the word is signals. It is a plural noun. It means sounds or gestures made to give warning or command. David always uses hand signals when riding his bike. Signals. Signals. S-I-G-N-A-L-S. -S. Signals. That is correct. The word is guidance. It is a noun. It means advice in choosing courses, preparing for a line of work or further education, or coping with personal problems given to students by a teacher or a professional counselor. After deciding on a career in nursing, Carlos met with his school counselor for guidance on which courses he should take. Guidance. Guidance. G-U-I-D-A-N-C-E. That is correct. This word has a homonym. The word is custard. It is a noun. It means a sweetened mixture of milk and eggs that is baked, boiled, or frozen. Lemon custard is George's favorite dessert. Custard. Custard. C-U-S-T-A-R-D. Custard. That is correct. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is eliminate. It is a verb. It means to get rid of. Lizette found it easy to eliminate artificial sweeteners from her diet 
but saying no to cheese was simply out of the question. Eliminate. Eliminate. E L I M A N A T E. No, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. This word has a homonym. The word is glands. It is a plural noun. It means cells or groups of cells that selectively remove materials from the blood, modify them, and send them back out so the body can further use them or eliminate them. Dr. Bernard checked Tally's neck to see if her glands were swollen. Glands. Glands. G-L-A-N-D-S. Glands. That is correct. This word has a near homonym. The word is axis. It is a noun. It means a straight line or body or a three-dimensional figure rotates about or may be supposed to rotate. Tanya was surprised to learn that the Earth's axis running from the North Pole to the South Pole was actually invisible. Axis. Axis. A-X-S-I-S. -S. Axis. No, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. This word has a homonym. The word is lure. It is a verb. It means to attract, entice. Andrew hopes that his advertised sale will lure people to his shop. Lure. L. U. R. E. That is correct. This word has a near homonym. The word is relics. It is a plural noun. It means souvenirs, mementos. Gloria keeps letters and other relics of her youth in an old suitcase in her closet. Relics. Relics. R E L I X. Relics. No, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. word could be confused with a similar word. The word is stylish. It is an adjective. It means conforming to an accepted standard and especially to one of current fashion. Libby spends her allowance on stylish accessories to spruce up her wardrobe. Stylish. Stylish. S-T-Y-L-I-S-H. Stylish. That is correct. This word has a near homonym. The word is melt. It is a verb. It means fell or rested on the knees. Alistair knelt down and checked under the bed for his missing shoe. Melt. Melt. N-E-L-T. No. No, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. The word is Creatures. It is a plural noun. It means lower animals, especially farm animals. It was Josiah's job to feed and water the creatures on his family's hobby farm every day after school. Creatures. Creatures. C R E A T U R E S. That is correct. The word is jerkily. It is an adverb. It means in a manner marked by jolting. The car moved jerkily along the rutted street. Jerkily. Jerkily. J-E-R-K-I-L-Y. Jerkily. That is correct.
this word has a homonym. The word is Venus. It is a noun. It means the planet second in order from the sun. It is easy to see Venus in the night sky without a telescope if you know when and where to look. Venus. Venus. V-E-N-U-S. That is correct. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is sprouted. It's a verb. It means grew, sprung up, or came forth as a shoot from a plant. Laura's office plant sprouted new leaves overnight. Sprouted. Sprouted. S-P-O-U-R-T-E-D. -E. Sprouted. No, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. Round six. The word is despair. It is a noun. It means total loss of hope. Frederica was too surprised at the pop quiz on the desk in front of her to feel any despair. 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 D-I-S-P-A-R-E. Despair. No, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. The word is youthful. It is an adjective. It means having the lively character or freshness of a young person, vigorous. Caleb's grandfather is a youthful 90-year-old who enjoys lawn bowling and playing cards with his chums. Youthful. Youthful. Y-O-U-T-H-F-U-L. That is correct. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is champion. It is a noun. It means someone whose superiority is formally acknowledged, especially after a test, contest, or series of tests or contests. Bethany is a champion gymnast who competes with her college team. Champion. Champion. C-H-A-M-P-I-O-N. Champion. That is correct. The word is spectators. It is a plural noun. It means people watching an exhibition, such as a sports event. The spectators cheered when the home team scored a touchdown. Spectators. Spectators. S P E C T A. T-O-R-S. That is correct. This word has a near homonym. The word is mirror. It is a noun. It means a polished or smooth substance that forms images by the reflection of light and it, that is usually made of glass with a reflective backing. Gregory looked in the mirror to make sure he didn't have any spinach between his teeth. Mirror. M. I. R. R. O. R. That is correct. The word is captivity. It is a noun. It means the state of being kept caged or fenced in. Sally the cat does not appreciate her short experience in captivity during the car ride to the vet's office every year. Captivity. Captivity. C-A-P-T-I-V-I-T-Y. That is correct. This word has a homonym. The word is gentlemen. It is a plural noun. It means men whose conduct conforms to a certain standard of proper or correct behavior. Audrey was relieved that her brothers behaved like perfect gentlemen at her wedding. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. G-E-N-T-L-E-M-E-N. 
N T L E M E N. That is correct. The word is pronounce. It is a verb. It means to declare solemnly. At the end of the ceremony, the officiant announced, I now pronounce you married. Pronounce. Pronounce. P-R-O-N-O-U-N-C-E. That is correct. The word is infinity. It is a noun. It means an indefinitely great number or amount. Tiffany was amazed that Jeremy could look up at the infinity of stars and point out numerous constellations. Infinity. In infinity. I N F I N I T That is correct. This is now round seven. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is construction. It is a noun. It means the act of putting parts together to form a complete integrated object, fabrication. The school remained open during construction of its new wing. Construction. Construction. C O N S T R U C T I O N. That is correct. The following word has two or more correct spellings. Either one of the two spellings listed below will tell you. So, just so you know. The word is swivel. It is a verb. It means swung or turned on or as if on a part that pivots freely on or as if on a headed bolt or pin. Harry swiveled in his chair to chat with his friend in the next row. Swiveled. Swivel. S W I V E L E B. Swivel. That is correct. This word has a near homonym. The word is solemn. It is a noun. It means a lump or blob of something semi-liquid or mushy. Nothing made Elisa feel more decadent than a dollop of whipped cream on top of her milkshake. Dollop. Dollop. D-A-L-L-O-P. Dollop. That is correct. The word is resemble. It is a verb. It means to be like or similar to. It always surprises grandma to see how much her grandchildren resemble each other. Resembles. R E. Wait, can you repeat that? Resembles. Uh, R E. Is 
to me are known. <laughs> No, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. This word has a near homonym. The word is Borneo. It is a geographical entry. It is an island of the Malay archipelago southwest of the Philippines that is divided between Brunei, Malaysia, and Indonesia. At around 140 million years ago, the rainforest on Borneo is one of the oldest in the world and is home to many animals such as orangutans, clouded leopards, and the eastern Sumatran rhinoceros. rhinoceros. Borneo. Borneo. B-O-R-N-E-O. -E Borneo. That is correct. This word has a near homonym. The word is leopard. It is a noun. It means a large, strong cat of southern Asia and Africa that is usually light orangish brown with black spots, spends time in trees, and often lies in ambush for its prey, called also panther. The so-called black panther is actually a black-coated form of the leopard. Leopard. Leopard, L-E-O-P-A-R-D, leopard. That is correct. The word is beneath. It is a preposition. It means immediately under. Isaiah's house has a cellar beneath the kitchen where he stores canned goods. Beneath. Beneath. B -E N-E-A-T-H. That is correct. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is flail. It's a verb. It means to move, swing, or beat as though wielding a tool that separates seeds from plants. Colin's preferred method of keeping mosquitoes off her is to flail her arms about and then escape to the indoors. Flail. Flail. F-L-E-A-L. No, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. <laughs> Round eight. The word is Japanese. It is an adjective. It means of, relating to, or characteristic of a country in Eastern Asia made up of four main and other islands in the Western Pacific. Lane is especially fond of Japanese food, so it's no surprise that she orders sushi every chance she gets. Japanese. Japanese. J-A-P-E-N-E-S-E. No, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is qualify. It's a verb. It means to fit especially for an office or privilege. Dean hopes he will qualify to be a volunteer at the library. Qualify. Qualify. Q U A L I F Y. That is correct. The word is dormer. It is a noun. It means a usually gabled extension of an attic room through a sloping roof to allow for a vertical window. Alan added a dormer to his attic to make the space brighter and more usable. 
Dormer. Dormer. D O R M E R. That is correct. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is hoisted. It's a verb. It means moved from one place to another by or as if by lifting. Owen hoisted the groceries up the stairs to his apartment. Hoisted. Hoisted. H-O-I-S-T-E-D. Hoisted. That is correct. This word has a homonym. The word is solely. It is an adverb. It means to the exclusion of alternate or competing things, such as persons, purposes, duties. Dad reminded Shauna that she was solely responsible for cleaning up her own room. Solely. Solely. S-O-L-E-L-Y. That is correct. This word has a near homonym. The word is banishment. It is a noun. It means legal expulsion from a country. For her part in the uprising, the rebel was sentenced to lifelong banishment from the tiny island nation. Banishment. Banishment. I-N-T. No, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. Round nine. The word is penalty. This is a noun. It means a disadvantage as loss of time or possession of the ball imposed for violation of the rules of a contest. The penalty for the defender's late tackle was a free kick on the goal for the opposing team. Penalty. Penalty. B-E-N-A-L-T-Y. Penalty. That is correct. The word is mockingly. It is an adverb. It means in a manner marked by scorn, contempt, or ridicule. Mom scolded Gavin for laughing mockingly when his little sister fell. Mockingly. Mockingly. M-O-C-K-I-N-G-L-Y. That is correct. This word has a homonym. The word is perish. It is a verb. It means to become destroyed or ruined, die. Helena was convinced she would perish if she had to stay out in the blazing summer heat much longer. Perish. Perish. P-E-R-I-S-H. Perish. That is correct. The word is furled. It is a verb. It means rolled up or gathered in a sail and fastened close to a yard or mast. The sailors furled the sails before the storm hit. Furled. Furled. F-U-R-L-E-D. That is correct. Round 10. This word has a homonym. The word is guise. It is a noun. It means form or style of dress, especially dress that is unexpected on or foreign to the wearer. The princess often escaped the palace and wandered the town clad in peasant guise. 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 G-U-I-S-E. Guise. That is correct. The word is dismissal. It is a noun. It means 
the fact or state of being removed from employment, enrollment, position, or office. After the budget overrun was made public, parents in the school district began calling for the superintendent's dismissal. 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 D-I-S-M-A-S-S-A-L? No, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is supposedly. It is an adverb. It means in the manner of something asserted to be true or to exist. The criminal was convicted of robbing the bank and was supposedly the mastermind of the operation. Supposedly. Supposedly. S U P P O S D E L Y. That is correct. This word has a mere homonym. The word is irked. It is a verb. It means irritated or disgusted as a person usually because of tiresome or wearying qualities. It irked Maybell that her neighbors did not mow their lawn every week. Irked. Irked. I-R-K-E-D. That is correct. Round 11. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is garret. It is a noun. An unfinished part of a house immediately under or within the roof. The housekeeper sent the servant girl to the garret to look for the holiday decorations. Garret. Garret. G-A-R-R-E-T. Garret. That is correct. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is ruefully. It's an adverb. It means in a pitiable, pitiable or woeful manner. Mikey ruefully replied that he hadn't been able to bring any lunch with him. Ruefully. Ruefully. R U F E L Y. No, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. The word is pennant. It is a noun. It means a flag symbolic of championship, as in a league of professional baseball clubs. Andre's team won the high school baseball pennant after a grueling season. Pennant. Pennant. P E N N A T. No, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. And this is round 12. The word is recognition. It is a noun. It means special notice or attention. Tina received public recognition for her graphic design work on the yearbook. Recognition. Recognition. R-E-C-O-G-N-I-T-I-O-N. Recognition. That is correct. And congratulations, Aiden Nevada. You are 2019 Girl Queen Spelling Bee Championship winner. <laughs> So Aiden, come on, come on back up, and and Violet and Audrey, would you also come to the front?
So for so we'd like to congratulate Audrey Montesinos for third place in the spelling bee. So everybody give her a round of applause. For second place, we have Violet Montes. Everyone give her a round of applause. And for first place, and he was also the winner last year, right, David? Yes. So this is the second year in a row here. We would like to congratulate Aiden Robata. Everybody give him a round of applause. All of the participants back up here. Let's take a picture of everybody. You guys did a great, great job. Yay, you. 